Hello friends, today my topic is how to use new library of Fontosum. Recently Fontosum has upgraded their website and there are a few new interesting things for our projects. But also a lot of developers are confused that how to use new Fontosum library. Well today I will tell you that how you can use new library and how you can integrate it with your project. So let's start it. Here you can see uh, Fontosum. Uh, website we need to download a new library from here the new version is 5.0.8 click on download free and it will start downloading here you can see we have a downloaded files zip file of uh, fontosum just extract here it will take a few seconds let's enter in this folder now i will tell you that uh, what files are important for us and uh, what uh, we need to use uh, from this folder uh, click on this folder web fonts with css just copy these two folders css and web fonts if you are not using less and scss if you are using less and scss then you can include these files uh, for now i am just copying these two folders css and web fonts copy this let's come back and paste here rest you can delete these two folders we don't need these two folders just delete them well you can see there are two main folders uh, in my this current website folder uh, let's see what is in web fonts okay here we have a, a fonts collection and in css folder there are multiple css files which we are going to use let's create html page here index dot html press enter yes now we have a index dot html let's open it in a editor okay we are in index dot html let's create a doc type here here we have doc type html5 let's include our css file here link well style sheet in href we need to write our file name in the CSS folder font awesome dash all dot mean dot CSS let me create a container here it is not uh, necessary but I am just uh, making sure that my icon is uh, in center of my web page and it is visible to all of you div class container I'm going to add my icon uh, in this container let's go to Fontosum website press icons tab you can press any icon which you want to add uh, in your project I'm going to click on Android icon just copy this path or click on this icon it will copy your code paste here let me test refresh it you can see here uh, we have a, 
एंड्रॉयड आइकन सो इट हैज़ बिन डन सक्सेसफुली फोन टोसम हैज इंट्रोड्यूस डिफरेंट साइजेज ऑफ आइकन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ नॉर्मल आइकन साइज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज आइकन साइज विद आउट स्टाइल शीट वी कैन एड एफ ए डैश एक्स एस लाइक बोर्ड स्ट्राइप कंट्रोल एस यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस नाउ इट इज मोर लिटल स्मॉलर इफ आई डू इट एल जी इट विल बी बिगर नाउ लाइक दिस एंड थ्री एक्स फाइव एक्स एंड सेवन एक्स एंड टेन एक्स well this is a new feature from font awesome library that you can increase or decrease your font uh, by adding these classes fa dash sm to fa dash 10x so there is a large range of sizes you can use any one of them which you want to use so this is the process how you can include new library of font awesome in your project the important thing which i want to tell you that uh, some people complains that their fonts uh, their icons are not visible uh, even in fact there are some square boxes instead of the icons so i would like to tell you that your path should be very clear there should be no confusion in your path you just make to show sure that your web fonts folder should be one step back from your css files for example if your css files are in this css folders then your font should be one step back here like this this node should be included in css folders otherwise there will be a problem and you will not be able to view your icons nor they should be out from this parent folder so be careful when you are including your uh, web fonts and css files otherwise you will be facing problem so if you think that uh, this tutorial is helpful for you and uh, you learned that how to include a uh, new library or font awesome please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, press bell button and you can like video and you can ask anything in comment box i will reply to you thank you very much bye